Virgo, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. All right, let's dive right in. Ah, okay. Um, so essentially what's going on right now and why you aren't feeling quite like yourself um, is merely because there is a, um, somewhere along the way it went from inspired action to efforted action, okay? And so when this happens, uh, we end up feeling unworthy um, because we are disconnected from our higher self. So um, because when we are disconnected, when we effort things, it means that we're trying to control things because our fear creeps in and then we feel like we have to control the scenario so it goes exactly the way that we need it to go to feel okay. This is normal. It's just one of those triggers from childhood that's crept up. It's just something to look at, all the opportunity to heal from, but this is essentially why the energy is feeling a little bit low. And the thing is, is when we have low energy, we attract in situations that represent low vibrations or low energies. This can be drama in our life with coworkers, with family members, uh, arguments, um, feeling like we just, you know, we just got to get it. We just got to win. We're going to win at all costs. You know, it's the five of swords. So at the end of the day, that really throws us out of alignment with who we really are because it's really ego, right? Ego is about status and materialism and and must do in order to be okay. That's ego, right? But again, the difficulty with this is it removes us from feeling very grounded and going with the flow and very in, uh, very, very one with the universe, right? And when we are one with the universe and we feel that, everything feels like it is literally unicorns and rainbows because everything works out. It's like lights turn green, everyone's smiling at us. We're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can live like this all the time, right? And then all of a sudden something happens. We're like, oh my gosh. And then our vibration drops. And then all of a sudden it goes right back to the familiar and we think, oh, here, here we're back again, right? But all that's happened is that we're reacting to what's going on in our outer world. And when we are, when we sense fear and when we sense that things are changing, we sense that things aren't going the way that we want them to. They're not moving fast enough. They're not, we're, we're focusing too much on the negatives of life, focusing too much on what we don't have, the lack of something. Again, we're, our, our awareness goes in a direction or builds the momentum of lower vibration. And then when we're in that, we find ourselves in that place, then we end up really really, uh, we're, we're at risk of then energetic burnout and we just feel absolutely powerless, absolutely powerless. Okay. In any situation. And this can go, this same theme happens, um, with people sometimes. So sometimes, you know, things are going really good. You meet somebody, everything's going fine. Everything's going great. The relationship is great. And then all of a sudden this person's needs are a little bit stronger, maybe because they're feeling more comfortable with you. Right. And then being an empath, you're going to be your beautiful, compassionate self. So you're going to going to give more to them. You're going to want to make sure they're okay. But then somewhere down the line that went from a reciprocated relationship to not so reciprocated. And then you're giving so much of yourself that again, that there's this energy burnout right? Trying to please make sure they're okay, right? So we got to watch for these patterns in our lives, but ultimately know this Virgo, you are an entrepreneur in every sense of the word. Okay. So whatever it is that you are desiring in your life, or you would like to take action on, or some new beautiful opportunity that is inspiring you, right? You're feeling inspired, move forward and capitalize on what your inspirations, um, where your inspirations take you because, this is your life. This is your movie. And at the end of the day, a lot of the times us empaths can get lost in trying to please and trying to make the environments okay. Um, and we, we want to make sure we feel okay because we've been hurt in the past and we really carry those hurts with us because we are sensitive souls in the best of, uh, in the best of all ways. Um, but the, the difficulty is when we carry those traumas with us and we don't heal through them, then again, they are triggered in our adult lives. And then whenever we want to do something for us or whenever we're in relationships, you know, those triggers come forth, kind of hinder us from being our best self. So what the universe is asking for you now is to make sure that you have a regular energy clearing practice. Now this here says clear your energy field, which is the insinuation that if you have been around some drama, or if you've been around some negative environments, or if your environment, for instance, like sometimes what will happen is like, if you've had a fight in your house or 
if you've been kind of in a, a, a disconnected state, let's just say, because that's really what it is, fighting, anger, hurt, this is all just disconnection. So if you're in a disconnected state, you know, you can have a, a kind of a ceremony where you can, you can, you know, light some smoke. That way you can set the intention of clearing the energy, right? It's feeling like some energy needs to be cleared. And you can even clear energy within your own center by sitting down with some quiet music or some peaceful music and running some energy through your chakras. Um, because ultimately know this, right? There is magic that flows through you. And every time we think negatively or we set our uh, a focus, right, into something that doesn't make us feel good, you know, boyfriend, girlfriends aren't texting us back. We think that we immediately think the worst boss isn't getting back to us. Uh, oh no, I was late on the paper. What's someone going to say? Whatever it is, whatever it is, right? Oh, I haven't, I haven't moved forward with my desires. I'm not doing anything with my life. I'm not good enough. Whatever it is, right? Every time we focus on that energy is doing this, right? But every time we focus on something that doesn't make us feel good, bam, we block the energy, we resist it, right? And so the energy can't flow and we feel that, we feel that. And then things start to get dip low and low and low because there's no energy flowing through us. There's no magic flowing through us anymore. So we're not feeling high vibe. If anything, we're feeling pinched off and we're not getting enough life force, right? So we overeat, we consume, we freak out, we overthink, right? We don't, we just kind of don't even know what, how to function. So this is what's happening. Ultimately know this. Everything is going to align for your highest good and the highest good of all. You know why? Because spirit is always going to make sure of that, no matter what. So get yourself into a place where you feel peaceful, where you feel grounded, take some deep breathing, go for an go for a run, get some exercise in, make sure that your diet is clean. We are what we eat. If you're eating processed, you're going to feel processed. It's not a good feeling. It's not fun, right? So if we overeat, we're stimulated, right? You know, the only time overeating is ever going to be beneficial is if you're training weights and trying to put on muscle, okay? If, if you're not doing that, do not overeat. You're going to feel crazy inside. Uh, I can tell you that. Um, so ultimately, at the end of the day, it is bringing yourself back to the present moment, okay? Bringing yourself back to the present and recognizing that being okay with what is, is the only way forward, right? So you got to find a way to be okay with what is. And you know how we do that? By clearing our energy and dialing back in and tuning into our intuition. That means really occupying a space of stillness, right? Calm, peaceful, still. Having this practice every single day is, is so, so, so amazing um, because it really kind of keeps the foundation nice and solid, right? So for instance, if you're uh, moving every day, getting a little exercise in, you know, getting enough water in, too many of us are dehydrated, uh, getting enough healthy foods in, uh, getting uh, just 10, 15 minutes where you turn on, put on some nice music and kind of just breathe into your heart, start to visualize white healing light going through each of the chakras. It feels incredible. Even if you just feel the energy on the top of your crown chakra going, 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 and just kind of like swirling there for a little while, that you're going to start to feel a difference. You're going to start to feel your crown chakra opening up. You're going to start to feel, oh my gosh, I can feel it. Then that energy starts to come down. Then you can spend some time on your third eye chakra, spend some time on your throat chakra. It's an incredible feeling. You'll be there for much more than 10, 15. I can promise you that. But having these healthy practices for us as empaths to do throughout the day kind of leaves us at that foundational um, baseline so that when everything, so that when things show up, because they will, right? Adversity will show up for us to level up. We'll be ready for it, right? We will be ready for it, right? Anyone or anything in your life right now that is holding you back from being your best self, from holding back that energy flow, you've got to forgive, okay? Anytime again, you think negatively about someone, you are pinching off your own energy. It has nothing to do with that person. What someone says, what someone does, how someone acts, none of your business in the kindest of ways. It's a much greater way to live because at the end of the day, people are always going to do what they're doing based upon their own movie going on in their own world. All we have to do is live life by our best energy, be compassionate, forgive, live a life of kindness and from a place of love, right? See the love, see the light in others and know from that awareness, that's when you have all of the ability to reinvent and create the life that you want because you have no strings attached. You're not emotionally attached to any situations in life. You have notice that when you walk around and you see something you're like, Oh, I can't believe they just did that. Right. That was my conditioning. Oh my gosh. My whole family. Like, I can't believe they just did that. I can't believe they just did that. Why do we care? Why are we talking about the person across the street buying ice cream for their child? I'm not kidding you. It was crazy. So that was my conditioning, right? So at the, I had a lot of uh, emotional attachments I had to let go of because I thought that was normal to be like, oh, hey, look at that person doing that over there. Hey, look at that person doing that over there. Wow. Oh my goodness. And having all these opinions on it. I thought that was normal, but you know, it, it, it only 
takes away from us, you know? It's not normal. It's just watch your conditioning. Watch where your focus goes. Watch where your awareness goes. Because if it's if it's not going to benefit your life, it's just not worth it for your life, you know? That's going to segue into your angel message of shower of abundance. So your angels say to you, to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance as we work together. Your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. So that is huge because again, you are an entrepreneur. You can do absolutely anything you set your mind to. The only thing holding you back would be where you're deliberately placing your awareness. I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I'm not not this enough. I'm not that enough. That is your focus. That's going to be what you attract in. That's going to be the energy you feel. You start to transmute that and it's going to be uncomfortable at first because you're going to be saying things to yourself that you don't believe. I am the best. I can do anything I set my mind to. Universe is guiding me. I am the best whatever I'm setting out to do. You know, have words that support you. And at first, again, it might not feel great, might not feel comfortable, might not feel right, but trust. Trust that wherever, the more that you do something, the better it's going to feel, the more normal it's going to feel, right? As, as we know, if we do anything in life, if it's new, it's uncomfortable, but the more we do it, it's familiar. So stay true to the words that support you and eventually things will manifest. And I say eventually, but it doesn't take long, a couple days. It's, and you'll notice the energy has already started to shift. So stick, stay true to it. Three days, give yourself three days, telling yourself these new words of support and see how things change. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.